products. I emptied out $81 and 50. <laughs> I emptied out $85. Oh my God, I cannot talk. Hey guys, Kelly Fab here. And today I have my Bob series update for you for the month of March. I'm a little, okay, so I haven't filmed this yet because I was really nervous to film it, to be totally honest. I spent way more than I should have during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I kind of gave myself free reign to spend whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted to on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, knowing that I was going into a no-buy right afterwards. So I will talk a little bit more about the no-buy at the end of this in case you're not interested. But if you're here for my Bob series update with my handy dandy notebook, right? From Blue's Clues, handy dandy no? Okay, anyways. Yes, I was born during that era, and yes, I did watch that when I was younger. No, my son does not watch that now. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to go through some of my beauty purchases and my empties and kind of go over some of those numbers with you. So if you want to see that and see how I'm doing for this month or this, I guess, for this year so far, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's start with the positive, all of the empties for this month of March. So you guys know that I already put out my empties video and I gave you my total, but I will give you my total again. I emptied out in full size and sample size product. I emptied out $81.55. So I feel like that was a really good number to empty. I wanted to hit 100 this month or this past month, but I didn't quite get there. So unfortunately, it just didn't work out for me. But anyways, let's get into my purchases. So I know I haven't posted my Ulta Beauty haul yet, which is coming up tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But I wanted to go over the numbers with you. So I did purchase three different fragrances from fragrance.net and that cost me $72.42. I am very, very happy with those purchases. I use them all the time and I'm really, really happy about that. From the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, I purchased a lot. Like I don't have the total number, but I purchased a lot from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. About, I would say about $500 worth from that. I will go over the specific products that I did get and all the samples and stuff that I got for free during that sale, but right now I'm just going to say it was about $500. And then I went to Marshalls because I was looking for a pair of shorts for me, but I cannot find a good pair of shorts anywhere that fit me right now. And I ended up purchasing a few things from Marshalls. Overall for March, I'll show you my total so I don't have to say it out loud. Can you guys see that number? Yes, you saw it right. I purchased $616.09. So I did include all of the items that I got from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I did purchase on March, or I'm sorry, April 1st. I purchased, I think April 1st, or maybe it was April 2nd. Um, and that was my last purchase. And instead of including it on April's purchases, because it was part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, I just included it with my March purchases. So now in April, I'm starting a clean slate. I have made one very small purchase. I think it was necessary because it had a lot of the items that I wanted in. I will show that to you guys when it comes in, but that was the only purchase I've made so far in April. And I was gonna buy items from the Sephora VIB sale, but seeing the numbers that I have now, I've purchased over $1,000, like $1,300 of makeup stuff already this year. And it's only in April, what? Ugh. Um, and my use up and purchase ratio is not even close. So I will put all the numbers down here. So my purchases, is way too high. I'll start listing them right here. My purchases are way too high right now. I'm sorry. My using up products is here and I just, I think I can use up more. I really do. I don't think I'm trying, not trying hard enough, but I don't think that I'm using products enough. Like I should be washing my face and moisturizing every night. Some nights I forget and I just wash my face and I forget to moisturize. And then I wonder why my skin is so dry in the morning. So I need to start being more consistent about that. And then other times I, you know, I just kind of 
mix between all my cleansers as opposed to just using up a cleanser, getting out of my collection, putting it in my totals, and then getting rid of it. Yes, kitty cat is in the back again. Sorry. He's been very feisty lately. But anyways, yeah, I don't think I've been doing very good with my ratios. And the total that I have in the surplus this month is way too much. It's over a thousand dollars. I will put it right here once again. And I'm just really not happy with those numbers. I am way better than that. I have way more self-control than that. And realizing how much I've really spent this year already is giving me a wake-up call. Like, why? I don't need that many products. I don't need that much. I can't even use up what I already have. As you can clearly see that I can't use up all the items that I actually have. So without further ado, I am going on a complete no buy. I don't need any more face products. I don't need any more blushes. I don't need anything. The one thing I will say that I am going to pick up because I did miss out on it in the past, I am going to pick up the Kat Von D Anniversary Palette, the colorful palette. Um, I do feel like I missed out on the Mi Vida Loca palette and this one I know is going to be limited edition and I really feel like if I don't pick it up, I am going to be so upset with myself that I didn't get it because that's what happened to the Mi Vida Loca palette. It just passed by and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I'll just get it later, I'll get it later and then I never got it and I see it all the time and that's all I want is the Mi Vida Loca palette. So. I am going to pick up the Kat Von D Anniversary Palette, and that's it. I'm not picking up any more lipsticks. I'm not picking up any more face powders. I, I'm not picking up anything until I'm completely out of it. So as of right now, I am on a complete no buy, nothing. The only things that I will be purchasing are my subscription boxes, which are you know reoccurring and they just come out every month. I only spend about $41.60 on my three subscription boxes and I have a video coming up shortly in a couple days of my pros and cons of all my subscription boxes and how I feel about them so far. But I am going to be keeping my subscription services so that I don't feel completely deprived of it being on a no buy because I really like that factor. So that is my plan. I'm really overwhelmed right now because I feel like I've purchased way too much and that thousand dollars could have easily went to a big bill that I could have paid off. So that's really disheartening to see. I already have about $120 worth of items that I was going to purchase. I was going to make a purchase from Ulta. I was going to make a purchase from Tarte. I was going to make a purchase from Ipsy and I was going to go to TJ Maxx. So all of those things combined, I estimated at about $120 that I would have spent on all of these items and I didn't end up making the purchase. So I am going to be tanking out $120 from my bank account and I will be putting it in an envelope for purchases that I didn't make and I still have my envelope going. I'm not going to tell you guys what I have in it so far, but I've been doing really good with stopping myself from making these purchases. So. I am going to be doing that so that I can start seeing how much money I can actually save throughout this time frame of being on a no buy. So literally I am not buying anything and I plan on breaking my no buy once the next Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale comes up or the Sephora VIB sale. I can't remember which one is first or second. I can't remember which order. I think it's the 21 Days of Beauty sale first and I'm only going to purchase from the 21 Days of Beauty sale if it's something that I need in my collection. And I don't mean that I want in my collection. It's, I mean something that I need in my collection. Something that I'm running very low on that I really, you know, I need in my collection. Something like that. So I'm not just going to be purchasing just because things are on sale. I don't need anything else. So I feel like I started this series to have this wake up call, to have this realization that I spend way too much money and I don't realize how much I'm spending it because I don't spend it all in one big chunk. I spend it throughout the course of the month and then at the end of the month I'm like, hmm, why don't we have any money in our account? And then I'm like, oh, that's why. So I am going on a complete no buy and I mean no buy of anything that includes anything else I might want. Yes, I did purchase this elephant. He is beautiful. I love him. It's like one of my favorite things in this room right now. And I did get him from Hobby Lobby, if you guys are wondering. And I got him for 15 bucks. 
So he was on sale, super sale actually. This was like way more expensive than 15 bucks, but it's just like wood paneled and painted and like distressed looking, but I love my little elephant. He's so cute. Okay, so anyways, I hope that you guys found some inspiration from my realization of the fact that I spend way too much money. And if you're doing this project, let me know and we can do this together and figure out how we can not spend money on things because we don't need to. Also, the two lovely ladies that are doing this project with me currently are Rachel Winters here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below and also her playlist of her Bob series. And also we have Stacy from Instagram here. I always put her little link here and I will put it down below as well. But you guys can check her out. She does this little chart that gives you like how much she spent, how much she used, and then her totals. So I also created that chart um, for my year at a glance, basically. And yeah, that's what I've been using now to see my totals because just seeing the month, you're like, oh, that's not too bad. I only, I'm only in the positive $130. But then you see that you're in the positive every single month and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So my goal this year is to stop spending basically i need to stop spending money on things i don't need and truthfully i'm actually feeling a little bit overwhelmed in my collection because i have too many things so that is my plan to start using up items and start loving the items that i have because i really do have a ton of items that i love and i enjoy using and I use all the time and then I put away and then I go back to it and I'm like oh my god I forgot why I love this so much. So yeah if you want to join in on this journey absolutely we would love for you to join in whether or not you have a YouTube channel or not let me know down in the comments below. Also if you have any pointers or tips for a no buy let me know because I know I get that urge when things I see I want, don't need, I want, go on sale. And I'm like, oh my God, but it's on sale. I can just get it now and save it for later. So if you guys have any really good tips for things like that, especially sales, because sales get me all the time, let me know down in the comments below and we can chat about it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. And let me know what you thought about my really terrible spending habits this month. I know they're bad, trust me. I know they're bad, but I really want to hear it from you guys and hear ways I can motivate myself to get away from my spending habits because it is really, really bad. Anyways, I am done with this. I've spent way too much money and I'm not spending any more except for, like I said, the one thing I know I'm going to get is the Kat Von D anniversary palette and I've been planning on getting that since I saw the spoilers for it. So that is all I will be getting. I really want that MAC highlighter too, that Rose one. But I'm not going to get it. You know why? Because I don't need it. I don't need any more highlighters. I was going to get it and I was going to tell you guys I was going to get it and just now I talked myself completely out of it because I don't need it. It's beautiful. It's expensive. I don't need it. Oh. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!